I've made over $700 so far this year with the help of an AI powered video tool called Pictori, which helps me create quickly create videos that would normally take hours and it makes them really visually compelling by pulling in a ton of stock footage clips that would normally take a ton of time to source. I'm going to kind of do the quick scroll through. This is my best performing video so far and best items to flip for a profit. And I'm just going to give you the quick sneak preview of how many different clips and images that they're pulling in to make this really visually compelling video, which would have taken hours and hours and hours to source all this stuff um, and embed that in the video myself. Now, Pictori does have a free trial, so you can get started for free. And when you're ready to upgrade to a paid plan, make sure to use promo code NSHN20 to save 20% off any paid plan. And with that, let's jump into the tool and I'll show you how I'm using it. Here's what Pictori looks like from the inside. There are several different options to get started creating a video including script to video. This is the one I use most often. You can take an existing blog post, uh, turn that into a video with AI voiceover. You can even start with just visuals or even uh, use this as a video editor. But in this case, let's start with the script to video. And in this case, I've got a script that I created based on a blog post from Side Hustle Nation. I will paste it in here and see what happens when we hit proceed. I'm going to leave the uh, visuals in there to see what it does with those. I'm going to hit pause while it uh, turns through this process. Normally it takes a couple minutes. All right, so now you can see that Pictori has created um, a whole bunch of different scenes for our video, like 100 of them or more, <laughs> um, and created a video that is 13 minutes long based on this speed. Now I've got my own voiceover recording for this. So if you wanted to uh, do it yourself, they've got these different um, AI voices that you can apply in, in a, a quota limited based on your account. In my case, I have narrated it uh, myself. So I'm going to hit the upload button and I'm going to upload that file. And then it will uh, it will sync the text to uh, the video once it does that. So I'm going to hit apply uh, across the entire video, and we'll let that sync. All right. So now it's got my voiceover synced to those different scenes, and it um, will line those up. It looks like the visuals from the script did not get added in, so it will be on me to add those in. So what that will look like, I guess uploading my own imagery here. And so it'll be drag and drop from my computer and then I can drop them into place. So I will, um, I will do that. For, maybe I can just do the first one over here. So now that that's uploaded, uploaded, I can either add it as a layer where it'll lay on top or I can replace the visual. I'll show you what it looks like as a layer to this scene. So we can do that. And then I think we can preview it here while it prepares that video preview. All right, so that's what it looks like um, as a layer. And let's say we want to delete that and say we want to put it as just replace the visual with that. It'll take up the whole screen. And that's kind of the um, the visual. So maybe we will do that and I'll continue to do that for the other uh, visuals that were in the original blog post as well. It makes sense to have those along in it. The other thing that I would typically do is um, replace the uh, text so you can create your own style here. So I have my brand live. Oh no, it's under, it's under branding here. Okay. Sorry. It's under, we're going to select brand. We're going to select side hustle nation. And so here, so it just it turns the font green and makes it a little bit 
bigger. That's that's the branding that we've uh, that we've included here. The other thing that I might want to do in this case is swap out these for titles since I don't actually read, you know, number one rent a friend. So I might cut that out, um, delete this scene. And then just add it as a heading on this next page. And then I think we can change the style of it. And let it, you know, and move it up to the top. So there'll be a few of those throughout. So I will go through and add those as well. The other thing I might want to look at here is if there's any really long sections of text where I might um, you know, just split that into two different scenes. So in this case, maybe we'll say, uh, let's split scene. And then it'll create um, a separate scene for that. So if there's any of these that are looking particularly long, you know, we can go ahead and split that scene. So I'm going to go through that. I'm going to add the visuals from the blog post. I'm going to add in those little headers, uh, which again, totally optional because you could just let, you know, let these visuals run and then we can go and export the video. Once you've got everything set the way you like it, make sure to hit that preview button before you download because downloading will use some of your credits as it generates the full video. If things look a little pixelated, you might see some watermarks during that preview. If the audio is a little glitchy during that preview, don't stress about that because what I found is once it actually renders and downloads, the finished product is just fine. And so your end result is what I think is a pretty visually compelling video where the scene is changing and it's dynamic every few seconds and it's so much faster than trying to create anything like that uh, on my own. Now if you're ready to give Pictoria a try, they do have a free trial, but make sure you use promo code NSHN20 for 20% off your paid plan when you are ready to uh, to upgrade there. So I've been really happy with this so far and it has definitely improved our video workflow. I think it can for you as well. I did want to note that you can also make, um, you know, kind of short format videos. You can use it as an editor for other uh, formats as well. Just the default for me or what I've been doing is kind of a standard horizontal landscape style. But in any case, hope that helps and uh, gives a little bit of, shed a little bit of light on how uh, Pictori is, uh, is working for me. Cheers.